since this October. So we okay. we, we are trying there. Yeah. Now the application is, is like popular one is sublimation, like sportswear, soft signage, uh, patches, labels, custom apparel and plush toy, uh, et cetera. We, we are adding more pages there. And, and from the, like the uh, flatbed is without any uh, camera or projector. Camera. Okay. Yeah, this is a CCD small camera. This is the top camera and the projector is uh, way to up be uploaded. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. So there's a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the blog, what you're showing, that is also the same blog in your site where here also it is showing one blog button. Mm, sorry. You, you are, uh, while you are teaching, because this is from your blog, right? Yes, yes, yes. You can. So this is the same, same link same. from the blog, right? Yes, same link. Okay. 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 And the fourth part, the last part would be uh, comparing with how, how many, oh, it is over time. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay <laughs> for us, no problem. Okay, okay. Um, the fourth part is the comparison with other uh, fabric cutting machines, industrial cutting machines is also here okay actually what is the best there is no best right it the best one is which can satisfy your own cutting needs and this article is uh, discussing almost all the aspects you may need to take into consideration when choosing which one is good for you uh, those four are the most popular uh, industrial fabric cutters. This one is a multi-layer fabric cutting machine. And this is the single layer digital cutting machine, or you can call it the round knife or uh, how to say vibrating knife cutting machine. And this is our laser. And this is the die cutting machine. Die cutting, yeah. yeah, die cutting. Okay. And firstly, the multi-layer is multi-layer, right? This is, uh, yeah. Firstly, you need to take into consideration is your factory's business model. Yeah, because if you are doing the customized orders, then the single layer cutters are more recommended. But if you are doing the bulk orders like uh, uh, millions or yeah, uh, hundreds of thousands of pieces, then the yeah. multi-layer is more recommended because it is getting faster, right? And then second thing to need to take into consideration is when you use this multi-layer, because if you are the bulk uh, orders, then you will decide, okay, which one to use. the. Uh, multi-layer cutters or the die cutting. Now we have one, uh, how to say is that for this one, for the bigger mm -hmm. patterns, bigger shape patterns, uh, this multi-layer cutters are more recommended. And for the small shape patterns, the die cutters are more recommended. But also uh, currently the trend is that die cutting because it needs to make the dye, right? Yes. So, yeah. So more factories choose this multi-layer cutters because to save, because I, I will discuss more in the latter part why they, 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 they would rather choose this. Okay. And when we discuss the single layer, uh, not, not to say that the a single layer can only cut single. It also can cut like a five to 10 layers of, uh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. But for laser, we don't recommend because laser will just, we are just, uh, it, it is hot melting method, right? It will melt them together. So yes, yeah, it, too. yeah, if you want to double or multiple your production, we recommend this kind of uh, multi heads. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is because uh, compared with the die cutting machine, two sets of the four head laser cutting machine equals one. Yeah. 
two sets equals one die cutting machine. Okay. Yeah, so actually laser is fast also. And when the single layer part, the, the knife cutter is more recommended in cutting the thicker one, like the floor mat, the PVC, the rubber, yeah. So because these materials, when laser cut, they tend to have yellow edge. Okay. Yeah. Because and, PVC, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. And also, a uh, knife can cut with faster speed because for laser, the thicker, the slower. Okay. Yes. Okay. There are different types of cutting heads depending on the material. So you, you make also uh, the knife cutting machine and head also? Yes, we also make this. Okay. This is our new production line. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And then the coming to the budget. Uh, in for the four categories, the cheapest is the die cutter. It is like uh, uh, three thousand three thousand USD per set for one common one. Then is our CO two laser, and then to the single layer fabric cutter, and then to the multi layer fabric cutter. Yeah, because uh, these two years the multi layer fabric cutter is getting cheaper, much cheaper than before. Uh, before they're like, uh, um, how to say, the price can be lowered like at least 50%. Oh. Yeah, the technology. So because the demand for single ply cutter is high, that's the reason multi-layer is becoming cheaper, is it so? Yeah, also becoming cheaper. Mm. Mm. Because the ten, the market is getting bigger, they accepting this kind of uh, in uh, how to say automatic cutting machines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the they, they, the come to the factory space. Yeah, you need to take into consideration. Okay. And for the among the four cutters, why the die cutting machine? Even though it is the cheapest one, but the usage is, how to say, you will see the disadvantages. First is the dye. Yeah. You may to make yes. dye, right? And you may need to the, the warehouse for it. Yes, storing yeah. them. Storing them. And the operator. For the other three cutters, operator only need to pick up the patterns. But for the die cutter, they need to stand there the whole day and cut piece by piece. And actually, for some machines, it is dangerous. A lot of uh, workers, their yeah. hands get cut off by the die, yeah. die cutters. Yeah. And also the fabric, the consumables. Uh, I will show you next. I will skip this cup, yeah, here, the, this die. You see, this is cut by the die cutting machine and it needs space in between. Yeah. It is a huge waste of the materials because nowadays the materials are getting more and more expensive. So like we take this, they they need to be at least bigger than four mm right and laser can be zero mm and yeah. the comparison is a, at least eight percent so man uh, for the whole year you can save much much material if you use laser so that that is why uh one of the key factors why they abandon the die cutting machine the material consumables okay. yeah then let's get back to this this operator skill right the other cutting the other cutters they are all using the nesting software except the die cutter we yes. have the yeah. single pattern layout and the combined pattern layout yeah so that's why uh the operator can be a very easy job 
so which means for factory it is easier to hire uh, some worker take care of a machine but a uh, die cutter yeah the the salary is totally different yes then come to the cut pattern quality because it also affect the product quality yeah laser has the highest precision it is uh, undoubtable and and for the the multi-layer the multi-layer cutters they when cutting the small part yeah they they the details is not that good yes yeah and another problem is that for multi layers the lower layer and the upper layer the size is a little bit different yes yeah <laughs> okay so you know, uh, I, I, I may need, to, uh, this is an extra topic is that what the first application for the laser in textile actually is in the embroidery, in, in patch, because there is one called uh, applique, uh, how to say, applique patch. You need to cut the, pat the patterns first, and then you put each of this different material on top of another layer of fabric and then sew the uh, or embroider them together yes, right true. yeah and if the shape is different then it will cause a lot of waste so that's where laser because of laser's precision by that time laser is still expensive but they use this function to make sure the applique patches get 100 percent uh products uh, or quality assured this is uh come to the material wastage okay for, yes. yeah for other cutters um space is uh, a necessity this is uh, some fact key of key factor you may need to take into consideration and then consumables and electricity uh, knife all these why this vibrating knife cutting machine and the multi-laser a multi-layer knife cutting machine has high much higher uh, power consumption is because it need to be absorbed. Uh, it need because the the cutting principle is the knife uh, cut through the fiber, right? And drag mm -hmm. drag through the fiber, and it can it, it won't be able to move, remove. Uh, how to say the fabric cannot be removed. So you need strong power to to stick the fabric to the platform so the exhausting fan is yes yeah, yeah. generally one hour it will uh, consume like at least uh, 10 to 15 k kilowatt. kilowatt okay okay and the die cutter is uh, in the middle, like uh, three to ten, and CO two is minimum. It's like uh, two to three, and also the consumables. Lasers consumable is only this tube, and also the focus in lens. Uh, this lens is also very cheap if you don't drop it, because the lens need to be cleaned from time to time. So if you don't drop it, it can do last long yeah but for the knife all those are consumables the knife blade the plastic cover and the mug paper yeah, yeah. and also for the multi-layer they cannot do the position cutting right yes okay that's almost all the uh, for today's content. <laughs> Hope oh, you. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah.